NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Damon Bruce. It's Tuesday night basketball. It's the away team going up against the home team. And that'll do it from the studio. Let's get you out to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports broadcast crew at the arena. I'll see you back here at halftime. Take a brief check at the matchups. Our starting five for both teams. And guys, they could have won that game on the strength of their offense alone. It was that good. And to do it on the road, too. I mean, with the way they just kept coming at them and coming at them, they kept that crowd out of the game the entire time. That's good work. Six to shoot. Number 10. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Number 10. At the line for two. That free throw missing. He hits the second from the line. at six number eight and the first shot of the night for him no good Doris Burke has some information for us Doris hey Kevin I had a chance to catch up with the visiting team's head coach he told me that he's looking forward to this matchup their first look at this team so far this season he said they'll look to play up defensively as usual their length and shot blocking a great deterrent inside Kevin. Thank you very much, Doris. The defensive strategy guys being heavily enforced by the coaching staff. And that's in large part because of the talent they have on that side of the ball. A lot of length, speed, quick hands. They've got a lot of ability on that side of the floor. Well, when you've got the horses, you've got to ride them and let them run. And defensively, they've definitely got some horses. Number four. No luck. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task. Stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Number 
six. Knocks down the three ball. You know, I think when you've got somebody that open on the perimeter, a good shooting with kickouts, the only choice. Clarkson, tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. With this chance, I'll show you the league's most intimidating shot blocking defenses from last season. Kevin, they were both great all last season, were these teams. I mean, they were terrific at blocking shots. I mean, not only did they have one or two guys, everybody seemed to get into the block party with these teams. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Wide open look. Can't get it to go. And a missed opportunity right there. Definitely. I think he should have converted that one. No good. Gone two or three here to start out the game. All going up court. Number ten. And that is good. He's got five. Got three out of four from the floor. So a good start for this club. Gone 0 and 3 from the field to start the game. up to the strike shot is off not looking good for him so far four straight misses to start the game just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first high post try and he knocks down the jumper they're off and running good start here they've knocked down four of their first five gone two or three from the floor well he's got to be disappointed with his team's play over the course of this run and uh, you know, thus the timeout, you got to talk things over, try to get back into the game. Something has to change for them as they haven't looked good at all during this run, so the timeout is appropriate here. on the shot clock. There's a screen. Will it go? They grab their own miss. Second shot opportunity. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. One falls for. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Gone four or five from the field so far. very high percentage from the field so far. Yeah, and they're just not offering any resistance, not making anything difficult for them, and um, they're able to kind of do whatever they want to do. There's a good screen. Number 11. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Easy call there. No question about that one. You could hear the impact from where I am. It's his first trip to the line. You know, last game, he turned in a really nice performance at the charity strike. Yeah, it really stands out when you look back at the numbers from that one.
The first one falls. And he can't hit the second. Gotten only one of their first six shots to fall today. Number six, number four. And there's the whistle, fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Their whole defense is better just with him being out there, Kevin. His ability to know exactly what's going on, to communicate, to be in the right position. And he's a great example for his teammates to follow. And we can't forget to mention his rebounding now. When you watch him, just keep an eye on the way he battles in the paint when the shot goes up. The first free throw is good. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Gone 0 of 2 from deep here. They set the pick. Pulls up on the elbow. That's a hand on it. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That's purely a hustle play there. Getting to the offensive glass for the tip in, well done. And that's an you know, quality you see any strong offensive rebounder possess. Uh, and we saw it right there. Yeah, it's the anticipation more than anything. It's understanding where that ball is going before anybody else on the floor does. Number seven. Got it. Good job in the low post. Gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Number 10. Good. He has seven. They've been hot here early, dropping them in left and right. Let's see how long they can keep it going. This is quite a start. He has to be concerned with all the missed shots. I mean, it happens to every team, but you have to find a way to keep being productive even when you go through a shooting drop. He might be trying to tell them to get to the free throw line. You know, all teams go cold at points during the game, but the good teams still find ways to score. Just five on the clock. Pull from the top of the key. That one off the back iron and out. Gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. again and it's good on the way in. It has taken them no time to build this lead up on the, the strength of a, a great first quarter offensively. And they need to continue to put pressure on the defense and try to really run away with this one from here.
gotten seven of their first ten attempts to fall so far. Excellent pace to their offense. 157 left to play in the first. And off target as he starts the game 0 for 1. Number 14 drains it from 17 feet out. There's 126 left in the first quarter. Shot clock at six. The layup missed. He's always going to have a difficult time finishing when the defense is in his face like that. Number 13. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Thirty-four seconds left in the first. Five to shoot. Number eleven, blanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. And you can feel the, the pattern of this game, guys. They're they're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys, have been of exactly that variety. Team leading by nine and back in a moment. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Just the start they wanted to this team. Solid offense. They got good ball movement. Established a nice rhythm. Yeah, not stagnant at all. Free-flowing and fluid at the offensive end. I think about 33% not happy with their play on that end. There's the screen. Six on the shot clock. No good. Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high-quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. Number nine. Off the left rim and out. Quarter number two, we're about a minute in. Number 10 makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Thing has been beyond great up until now. How about 57% from the field overall? There's the steal. Number four. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight.
And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. They set the pick. Lock at six. Goes up on the high post. Kept the line. The second chance effort. Gets the bucket. That's some tenacity inside battling for the second chance points. Gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Six to shoot with his first shot attempt. Bounces all the way off the rim and drops. Still trailing, but their offense is off life support here in the second quarter. It's got a pulse. Yeah, they're making some shots now, Clark. Finally starting to make up some ground. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Wide open. Number four. Off target at the rim. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. There's the triple. The shot no good. Gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter. Going just one for five. Number eight. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And the first one drops. And so he makes both from the line. Gone over two from deep here in the second. in on four minutes play here in the second quarter. Number six. Misses off the right iron. He's tried to get it going, but the shots just have not dropped for him today. Max down. Another shot. Good on the jump shot. Seven points in the game. And of all the things about him uh, that you like offensively, it's his composure that jumps out at me. The way he never gets rattled. The defense can get in him. He doesn't care. He just continues to do his thing. Very true, Steve. I mean, he's also one of those guys who doesn't take long at all to get on a roll offensively. He's a fun player to watch when he gets hot. Number four. Number 15, soft touch off the glass. You know, that putback's about as easy as it's going to get. You, you have to put a body on someone down there. Well, no box out. That's the result you get right there. Number seven, and the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Six on the shot clock. Number 15. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. You know what? That's what you like to see. A perfect pass leading him right into the shot. Didn't even have to break stride. 
Well, he wants to get everybody on the same wavelength. That's for sure. And he may change up some things here as well. Looks to me like he saw something that wasn't on the plan. Pick now is the time to address it. I don't have a problem with that. While we have a chance, let's take a look at the teams that led the NBA in rebounding last season. There's not a whole lot to complain about with these numbers. I mean, they made a commitment to rebounding last year, and it was obvious. It showed on a consistent basis. They put great effort into rebounding the ball last season. Gone only two of seven from the field since the second quarter got underway. Come get it, come get it. Just five to shoot. From the wing. Number four. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. And are they ever working inside? Good job on the glass. Excellent job on the glass, Steve. I agree. I mean, they're battling in there. They're fighting. They're scrapping. They're clawing. And they're getting the job done. The shot is good. The offense has a better flow, and it actually looks better here in the second quarter. Yeah, they've steadied themselves a little bit, trying to close this gap. Number six. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. Nine points in the game so far. Fantastic pass. He turned that one into a pretty easy basket for his teammate. at the bucket. Oh, man, he goes old school on us with the finger roll. Gone 4 of 10 in the second quarter from the field. Number 10. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Man, a gaping hole in the defense that time, and he didn't waste any time getting through it. Number 5. That's foul number two on him. They might not warrant sitting him entirely, but uh, you know, yeah, another one before halftime, they could, they could be in some trouble. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Number 8 gets it to go. Seven points in the game. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. No, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. on 8 of 12 since the start of the second quarter. That's a really high percentage, hitting around 67%. Lock at 6. To the paint. Number 5. No good with the way. That's some more rugged play from them in sack. They have a decent edge in rebounds thus far. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game eventually. 11 feet away. A shot no good. Gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. One thirty-five left to play here in the second quarter. Number four loses the defender with the screen and drills the jumper. He has seven. It took him a little while to get into the flow of this game, but now he's definitely found his stride and rhythm. Watch out, 
inside, number four. Back in off the glass. Another good pass, and their offensive execution has been impressive, to say the least. The last four field goals have been assisted. Yeah, passing has kept the defense off balance, but to get assist, you got to make the shot. There's 53 seconds left to play in the first half. Foul call. Looked like the D didn't get there in time, and he'll shoot free throws. First free throw is good. Here in the second quarter, they've made all of their shots from the foul line. And that's a must-do when you're down. And he makes both free throws. There's 47 seconds left now here in the second. Shot clock at six. Number ten. And it's off from three-point range. Well, 50% from the floor. Number four. Oh, no good. You know, even though he's bite-sized compared to the big man on the floor, he's done some really tall work on the board. Second quarter ends in a tight one. The home team up by three. Folks, stay tuned for the halftime show with Damon Bruce for all the highlights from our first half. Now, presented by Sprint. We're happy to be with you this Tuesday night. Keep it here on 2K Sports as we break down the first half. At the midway point, the home team is playing very well. They're a powerhouse rebounding team, and it's been more than apparent in this one. And slugging it out so far, the visitors. They've boosted their offense with a steady diet of made free throws. Now let's take off with some other games in progress around the league. We're all tied up in the third. And another game going on about midway through the third out there. And the other game's still underway. That game's in the third, still plenty to go. Now let's get back over to Kevin Harlan and the rest of our crew as the second half gets underway. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And it's been a back-and-forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. The visitors with the ball. They trail by three. And I thought the key was their ability to, to stretch the defense. They got hot from behind that three-point line, and that really gave them the margin they needed. Yeah, that's right. It opened up things for them in a huge way. The defense was never able to get comfortable. Six on the shot clock. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. He has six. Thing has been terrific. 54% on the game. Number six. Great D on that shot, and it's off the mark. Gone four of 11 tonight. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. Number four. Gets a very good look and converts. There's the pick. Nice teamwork to set up the pick play and make the space for the jam. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a nice look. Poor job by the defender to not fight over or around that screen. A 
Uncovered. Gets it to go. 13 points in the game. Up and in on every one of their first three shots to start the second half. Gotten five baskets in 12 attempts so far. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Number six. Offline from the high post. Gone three of three from the field since halftime. Down to five on the shot clock. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. From about 16. And a kind word that time off the rim as that one falls. The visitors with the ball. It's a one-point game. Well, these teams were very similar in a lot of ways last year, especially in the standings. But they were able to take the season series from them. Shot clock at five. Number eight. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Gone two or four here to start the second half. Number six. Carries the long range jumper. 16 points for him. Yeah, they were two pretty decent teams last season. Clark and Steve just made mention of their regular season matches were interesting. Yeah, you know, Kevin, but they had an advantage in just a few critical areas that they gave them the upper hand. They, they did a good job of winning the majority of those games. Six to shoot. Shoots. And that one goes long. More often than not today, those shots have not dropped for him. Gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. To the middle. Ball's not loose. Lock at six. Number five. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. And the fadeaway was about his only option there. Really good defensive position. Number ten. That's good on the jump shot. 11 points in the game. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. So far, his shot selection has been questionable. Allow a tough, contested shot. If I'm coaching, I might sit him down for a minute. On three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Six to shoot. Number 11. Number four. from the floor so far in the third quarter. Floats one up. 
And that's two points on the layup. He's got 15. What a finish with that hoop. Gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. They set the pick. Number 10. That one's good from the corner. Yeah, and guys, it's his consistent shooting that's really helped get his team into a position they're in right now. but it rolls out. I'd love to see them impose their will a little bit more on the backboard. Usually that's a great way to take control of the game. Well, they haven't been able to do that yet, but it's something they're certainly capable of. Number 10 sinks the 15-footer. He's got 15. Everything's falling now, and this lead continues to increase. Yeah, it's just way too hard to keep up with a scoring pace like this. I mean, and that's why the defense is having a tough time. Number four, money from the wing. Really hard to find fault with anything he's doing this quarter. At least at the offensive end. Gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. We've got 113 left in the third quarter. Number 14. And they'll turn it over. Did not get off a shot. 24 second violation. And that'll be the first of a two game road trip for it. even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They gotta get going. There's 47 seconds left in the third. Number 11. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. Two shot, two free throws in the game. Made one and missed one. And the first one at the line is good. Plus five in the rebound category, really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamour stats. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. Um, but when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. Shot clock at six. 
Number seven. Brings it from beyond the arc. And another three-pointer to their second half total. Yeah, they caught that long-range bug at halftime, and it's been palms away ever since. Number four. Wide open shot is on the money. 19 points in the game. Shoots from the high post. Jump shot is good. He's definitely got that shot in his arsenal. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double digit. fourth quarter the scoreboard tells the story in this matchup but we'll see how much things change up here and the home team has possession that'll be the first half of a two-game trip Number seven, cans it from downtown. The D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been of the three-point variety. Yeah, unless they make some rotations and closeouts defensively, there's more to come, but. The train, no good. Now he's their top rebounder. He's doing an excellent job on the glass today. Well, I tell you what, I love the effort he's shown on the board today, Steve. It's been fantastic. Six on the shot clock. Number six. Can't hit the free throw line jump. Awesome defense. I mean, he'll hit those unless you're right in his grill. just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Blocked. Here we go, right on one. The finger will finish at the bucket. He's got 20. He's been so reliable again today, Kevin. They need his points, and he's providing them. Just over a minute and a half put here in the fourth. Number four. Off target with his three. Gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it from the line. Two shots. perfect from the line this time. Gone all three to start the fourth quarter. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Number 10. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Got a piece of it. 
to the inside, trying to get back on track. It's been a great day for them on the boards, Clark. That's definitely been a major factor in building this big lead. And you know, from a number standpoint, the advantage might not be that large, but they have been manhandling them inside. Lock at six. Number six. Simpson. What aim from outside? What? 23 points in the game. That's his second three point of the half and his third overall. And he sets the screen. gone by number six hits the jumper in space I think they're trying to go for the kill here I mean they're starting to take a lot more three-point shots than they had been before looking to run away yeah and that's fine as long as you're making them but make sure you don't start launching bad shots that's a problem Desperately need a bucket. They're losing their composure a little bit here on the bad end of a run. Yeah, they are, and they need to come up with a rally wrecking play here to stop this run. There's the pick. The 11 footer. That one goes. Cut. 27 points for him. He's come out here in the second half and done a nice job moving, getting good looks, and finding his range. Four. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Boy, that was impressive, Clark. He did not hesitate to take the ball right up against the bigger defender. Boy, I like that aggressive mindset there, Steve. Number six. A three-pointer is right on target. All the buckets he's poured in today have put them in a terrific position heading into the stretch. Six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. Number 10. Up again. Slams it back in. And Steve, not only is their lead big, but their advantage on the boards is huge, too. Yep, well-deserved. I mean, they have worked their tails off on the glass. All sorts of time. Can't get it to go. That's not his shot there, guys. And uh, whether you play D on him or not, he's, he's usually going to miss that one. Number six. That three off the mark. Boy, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He, he usually knocks that one down with ease. No one near him. The shot is off. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. from short range. Gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Number four. 
Traps in the tray. He's got 24. He can be dangerous from outside. Sure, he didn't get one to go in the first, but we know he can get on a roll and knock him down. Kick it out! Kick it out! Number six, the feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. This game's over, guys. I think we can say that with certainty. Yeah, I agree with you there. We have officially reached garbage time. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. And here we go. Number 10. The finger roll finish at the bucket. And the defense just lets him go there. And once he hit the open floor, there was no looking back. Straight to the rack. A minute 20 left to play here in the fourth. Number four. Hits it from three-point range. 27 points for him. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. Number 10. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Number 11. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. So it's both teams making substitutions here. At the line for two. He's off on the first. And the second free throw, good. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. From the high post, shot is no good. Gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. Down low. An easy layup after coming off the pick. And a terrific run to really put this ball game away. And now let's see how many more points they can throw up there before the horn sounds. I see him. Number 14, off the mark, and so they get the victory here at home. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just did one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. And now for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for joining us tonight in our presentation of NBA on 2K Sports. Now our Jordan player of the game.